Let me give one more example for, for customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Okay. So, when you build a house, the initial plan that we made here was actually to build uh, the puja room, basically the prayer room, right, and then the ground floor. But when you started building, my mom said, hey, why don't we just move this to the, to the, to the first floor, because we're building a room there, why don't we just build next to that? so that I get my own private time. I just want to peacefully sit there in the prayer room. So, immediately, like, you know, the, the builder and we spoke, and the builder was okay with that. He said, yeah, I think it, if, you, if that's what you want, we can do it. And, and actually, we built a, the, the, the basement, and, and, you know, with the foundation, good, so that we could actually construct on first floor. So, we actually changed. My concern was that, you know, my parents were getting old, and I said, do you really want to climb up every day? Right. My, my mom said, hey, I'm good today, let's construct the room, the, the prayer room on, on the first floor, and then when we get really old that we cannot climb up, we'll come down. That time we'll see if we can, we can you know, restructure our house. And then it was, it worked for us, and actually my parents really enjoy you know, in their own you know, prayer room. And, and that's what, you know, customer collaboration. The, the builder never said, no, this is what is contract, and this is what we made as a plan, we're not going to, we're not going to change anything. Because the builder accepted and then actually he collaborated so well with us and said, yes, we can move up, no problem. And we actually moved up with the same cost, without any additional cost, right? And the customer satisfaction was so high, we, were, we all were so happy because the builder accepted and we actually responded to the change.